autumnal for certain. One never knows until one arrives. Well, straight away here, I'm detecting an item apparently left unattended. Just a sort of irksome thing to ruffle things. We'll just get this old heap and... Hmm, let's see. A sturdy set of oak limbs such as those should contain it nicely. There, much better. On we go then. Bit crisp, but all in all a fairly nice day. And again, more relics of the smelly old industrial era blocking my waves. What do you say we turn it into a pile of crap there? There, that'll do it. Now this is a bit of an odd one, apart from what I've been seeing. Hmm, could be an older model. Largely aluminium. Older, newer. The specific effect seems consistent enough. No worries though, we'll just... Uh, I wonder what model this is anyway. Oh well. Look at this. Can't go far without more useless interference strewn about. Oh, the more things stay the same, the more they... Or is it the more things change? Oh well, whatever. I'll be damned if it isn't once again, and indeed it is, Mr. Joey Meals himself, apparently still lost as can be. I do recall, along with the others, describing Joey Meals that the word nice rarely registered, taunting those about ruling by fear, old eggshells was putting it lightly. But what does it really matter, post-mortem here, stuck on this plane, having left behind mostly bad memories within those he encountered in that life? Well, it's his to deal with now. Nothing much more I can do for poor old Mr. Meals. If I knew then what I know now about how it happens, how some people harbour such an insatiable need to control others. Hold on. A bit of fizzling here due to this close proximity. The metal bicycle. Perhaps the iron bench legs as well are jamming me a good measure. So let's just fly the pair a comfortable distance eastward. Now then, my sighting of Joey Meals has me reminiscing a bit about the times I, along with the others, got hung out to dry by His Excellency himself. My conclusion being, people the likes of Joey Meals who harbour such insecurities within themselves quite simply and insatiably must diminish those all around them, sadly as a means of falsely conjuring within feelings of superiority, however hollow those feelings may prove to be. Really, it all boils down to a bunch of ego-driven delusionary bollocks. Who's above, who's below, who's in between, who the hell cares, we're all beings here. Look, I'm pretty damn large now, ain't I, JM? So what? Look, JM, I can float. How many tons is this truck? Of all the physical sizes I've tried out since then, Mr. Joey Mills, bigger is definitively overrated. Anyway, it's good to be inside the remainder of the evening. At a place now where the proprietors appear to be away on holiday. A little device chest with the ghost of the house and some sitting down alleviates this floating on water sensation I get here. My opponent made quite a list of blunders during the match, but hey, just a silly game, no need to call out a host so gracious. So, so far I've found that most anything with metal is a cinch to float. The difficult things I've been practicing with of late are materials such as non-conductive plastics, rubber, wood and the like, as this plant here with the dirt and clay pot, etc. This morning I think I might in good spirit dally along the way to perhaps jog some trivial recollection of my life while living here. <laughs> oh yes, shopping, shopping, shopping. Seems like that's what we beings did most. That and watch our screens until our eyes imploded. Hmm, wonder if everything is still from China. Well, not exactly a relaxing reflection. Okay then, enough for now. One thing for certain is that for some reason it's always been a bit of trouble for me to locate this particular junction on the route, so I've decided to place a beacon to aid my direction straight away on my next visit. Right, about there then will do just fine.
So far, it's looking about the same as last time. Weathering the environment decently enough, it appears. Let's see here. That's it. Right, there's the switch. Came to life quite nicely, considering the gap since last I fired it up. OK, time to quit my prattling, as this will require a bit of silence and concentration as usual. It's good to see that all is functioning as expected with my counterpart. Splendid then. It's overall conditions should hold up well enough until my return visit. Back in stealth mode you go then, so long for now. I know you're itching to get out and move about, but I don't have to tell you now, do I, eh? About two more intervals and we rotate watches. Hang in there then, old chum, back before you know it. Look at this, would you? What are the odds? How did JM get all the way over here? Hmm, meant to be perhaps, seen as I have been a small bit concerned about him. Not so sure of his ability to see me at this point, but I'll keep a bit of space between us just the same. Don't want to screw things up. Not so enjoyable at all seeing him stumble about this way, especially after all this time. He really is struggling to make sense of it all, ain't he? It's getting a bit close to my window for exit, but I think there is time to trail him for a while anyways. May be useful overall to perhaps work him into my next report to see about a way to help him speed the process up a bit here. seeing this now, are we not? Bravo, JM. I just knew you'd start to make the connection sooner or later. Good then. Jolly good, JM. Metal. That a boy. Yep, anything metal is a good way to kick it off, old chap. Somewhere I crowd cheers for you indeed, Mr. Meals. Organics? Already? Now this is impressive, isn't it? Hey, pretty damn good with that turd, JM. You may be a natural after all. That is, unless the dog whose end it is ate a bit of metal. Perhaps from some tin can it licked out lying about nearby. My curiosity leads me to a mandatory inspection of that turd, all said and done. That is... unless... No, JM. Not that. Limbo or not. This is simply not the proper English way to behave. Ah, oh, so close, but yet so far. That does it then. Before my departure, I shall leave behind some proper English food for your consumption. No more eating the shite, JM. Poor old Joey Mills. Apparently he's progressed little since last I saw him. I wonder if he's getting the idea yet that the way he instilled fear in others didn't cause them to look up to him or down to him, but instead just caused them to want to get away from him. Is he starting to realise this? Or is his lacking what keeps him here, stuck, sucking on crap? Take it or leave it, I'm just a visitor here now. I hope he gets it and makes it off this plane at some point. It's good to see old JM, and I really have hopes that he doesn't spiral down any further. Poor old Mr. Meals. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave it here for this trip. Last night, as I prepared for my departure, I wanted to try something before I left. 
So I focused extra hard on how I would succeed in achieving a feat in a fashion that I never succeeded in before. I thought about my old life here as the sun of this plane began to lower itself to the west. I knew of my increased energy flow just prior to leaving and thought it a good time to give it a go. And lo and behold, if it didn't work. Once in the air, it really wasn't that difficult to maintain after all. I took readings on it as well, not a speck of metal, just leaves, wood and some dirt. Where this new ability would lead, I've yet to find out. Though the feeling made me high on myself, I swore I would never hold it above so much as the tiniest insect. Instead, I just became overjoyed and excited with childlike curiosity about things and places to come on this incredible journey. And now I should be leaving, as my wonderful wife has arranged for tea with Mr Churchill, Mr Dickens and all the dogs we've ever enjoyed together.